Are you looking for an easy way to upsell your coaching programs or services, your digital products, or maybe even physical products like books or a card deck? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using Book Like a Boss and Thinkific. So if you caught my previous video, I walked you through the back end of Book Like a Boss and showed you what you could do with it. It's an online scheduling tool, but the huge benefit for me is that I can upsell products and services right within my online courses with their products and services feature. So if you didn't catch that video, I'll drop a link below and you can sign up for a free account using um, the link that I'll put in the description as well. In today's video, I want to show you how to create that product or service and how to put it in your Thinkific site so that your students, you can upsell to them right within the course and without them leaving that platform or without them even leaving their um, course player, which is where they're actually taking the course. Okay, so first you need to be able to create your service, your product or service. Now you want to make sure that you have your book like a boss set up to be integrated with PayPal or Stripe or Square or all of the above. Um, so you can do that right here under payment settings right here. Okay, then once you're done that, you're going to go down to products and services and we're going to create a new product. So we're going to create in this case, let's do a coaching package or a coaching service. Okay, so first we need to be able to put in the package name or the service name. So this is going to be so one on one coaching. And this is a service. We could also choose whether it's a physical product or a digital product. In this case, it's going to be a service. These are going to be one hour calls. Clients will be asked to choose a date and a time because it's a service. If it was a physical product or a digital product, they will not be asked to choose a date and time because it's not an appointment. It's a product that you're selling. In this case, it's a service. So we're going to go with clients will be asked to choose a date and a time. Let's put in your coaching hour price. Your payment options um, is just going to be online because we want them to pay online. The cutoff is this so that you can prepare for the booking. So I don't like bookings within uh, one day. So I don't let people book the same day. They could book the day before though. Padding is how much time you have in between this appointment and any other appointments on your calendar. So let's set this at 20 minutes to give me time to prepare. I'm going to set this for every 30 minutes that these appointments will be shown as available and maximum cutoff days will put 21 so people can't book more than three weeks in advance. In the description here, we're going to add a little description of the coaching service. Okay, so you want to make sure that you put in a thorough description here. I'm just doing this a short one for this example, but this is what they're going to see before they book this. So you want to make this obviously uh, enticing and you want to give them the reasons or the results that they're going to get from that service. Success message happens once they have booked. So in this case, let's tell them that they're going to get a confirmation email with a link to, to um, join the call at that date and time. Okay, so I've asked them to check their email inbox for the confirmation for the confirmation message and the link to join the video conference call is in that confirmation message as well. And I've also told them they'll receive a reminder for two hours before the call. This might be also where you tell them what they need to prepare in order for um, to prepare for the call. So you might put that in that success message as well. Now you can do a redirect URL. So after they close down the success pop-up, you can redirect them to a different URL. So that might be more information about this service or how to prepare for it. You can uh, redirect them to a URL on your website or somewhere else. You can also auto redirect. So instead of, um, them seeing the success message, you can auto redirect them. As soon as they submit the form and the payment, they would go to a different page. So that might be um, a page on your website that has all the information about what they need to prepare and so on. So you might just auto redirect them instead, in which case they're not going to see this success message here. Then we're going to put in the button text. So we'll put in book now. I am going to hide this because this I'm only going to use this for uh, coaching uh, appointments for people within a particular course that I'm running. So this, I'm going to hide this on my main book, like a boss page, because I only want the people um, who have this link or are in the course to be able to see this booking type. 
I'm also going to create a meeting in Zoom when this is booked. So I have this integrated with Zoom right on my Book Like a Boss. So, so Book Like a Boss will actually, and Zoom work together to provide a link to both the client and to me or the student and to me um, so that when they book on my calendar, there uh, there is a Zoom link. So I literally just have to open my calendar, click on the Zoom link and join the call when it's time. I can also make it so approval is required. So you can, uh, they can request an appointment or a, this coaching service, but I actually have to approve that um, service or that date and time before it's confirmed. I can also add this to specific calendars if I want to. Now I have this hooked in with my Google calendars, so I don't need to uh, use this option because that's done on a global level, but you can choose specific calendars um, to save the booking to or which ones to check for availability before they let someone book this service. So let's say I've got this set up all the way I want it. As you can see here, you'll be able to add photos and videos after saving the package. So I'm gonna save this package here, and here it is right here, I can see it. So what I can do now is I can go in and edit it if I want to. And this is where I could add photos or I could add a YouTube video. So I might do uh, a special video for people who are wanting to book this service, and I could add that in here. Now in this case, I'm not gonna add those, but I just wanted to show you those. And I'll, let's save this package. Then I'm gonna set up a specific booking schedule. If I have a different booking schedule than the one that's gonna override my global booking schedule. So if these particular appointments are only available on Mondays, then I would add a schedule just for Mondays for these particular appointments. I can also add in custom fields that I, information that I might want from my students before my call with them. I can set up my reminders. So this is where you're gonna add a reminder and whether I want it sent to my client or sent it sent just to me. And I usually you know, set up a couple of reminders, maybe one two hours before and one 15 minutes before. So that's your reminders. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this light URL. My students are already familiar with me because they're in my course. So I don't need to do a fully branded page for them. What I wanna do is just copy the light URL link and I'm gonna head over to Thinkific. So here I am in Thinkific, which is the learning management system that I use. I'm also one of their experts and an ambassador for them. So I obviously love uh, Thinkific. But um, so this is where all my courses are hosted. This is where my membership site is hosted as well. So what I'm gonna do now is drop this link for this booking just into this test course that I've created here. So I'm gonna click on add lesson and I'm gonna use the multimedia content type. And in here, I'm gonna put book your one-on-one -on -one coaching call with Kim, okay? And then in the URL, I'm gonna drop in that link that we just created for the light version, okay? And then I'm gonna click on save. Now I'm gonna go in and preview this so that you can see what this looks like. So here I am inside my course player, so as if a student was taking this course, this is how it's gonna look for them. So when they click on the first lesson in the welcome to the course, it's gonna show my light version of this calendar booking. So it shows uh, the description right here, what the package is, how long it is, what the cost is. They can change their time zone to, to view this in different time zones. There we go. And then they go ahead and right within the course player here without ever leaving your course, they can book this service or purchase a product from you. So let's choose this one here. And it's gonna ask, it tells them one hour of coaching will cost 250, ask for their name and their email address. And I don't have any custom fields in here right now, but what it's gonna do is um, allow them to book and ask for the payment at that time. So all right within this particular lesson inside your Thinkific course, you can upsell your coaching, your products, your services, using Book Like a Boss. It is a phenomenal software program. I love the fact that I can so seamlessly integrate it with Thinkific for my courses. And so without creating other products on Thinkific or using yet another software service, when I'm already using Book Like a Boss for virtual appointments, I can use it 
for upselling products and services right within my course. So I'd love to hear any questions or comments that you have about this. Let me know if it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up and share it out and make sure that you subscribe and click the notifications bell to get notifications when I publish new videos. Until then, see you.